treasurer, Fabio Lucaccioni, who is running the operation from the chemistry department in the University Catholique de Louvain, Louvain Neve, Rita Woodward, Bob Dalsquist, David Terrell, Susan Champ, Henry Kamens, and Tracy Ewe. Um, Mary Beatrice Medig, I hope, will join us shortly. We also um, uh, would like to thank those of our members who couldn't be with us, but who have been kind enough to give us their proxy votes in the case uh, of needing to use them. Um, and so without any further ado, I would like to move to item one on the agenda, which is um, uh, the welcoming remarks uh, and uh, introductory remarks. First of all, from the Royal Society of Chemistry President, Tom Welton. Tom, please. Sorry, amateur mistake there, left my, <laughs> left my microphone switched off. Um, so good evening, everybody. Um, it's a, a real pleasure to um, join you. And and I know both Helen and I particularly wanted um, to, to join you because, you know, one of the most important things that we can say this evening is um, in spite of recent political <laughs> development, shall we say, you know, these islands have not been dragged into the middle of the Atlantic and we are still, you know, we are still a European country and uh, the IRA still is very much a European chemical society. And, and in a sense, you know, you write that for us in uh, the reality of people's lives. And so, um, so it's a great pleasure to be here tonight. Um, I, I was asked to give a bit of an update on the RSC presidency. It is... Um, it's been somewhat different to my expectation uh, the last um, uh, nine months. And, um, you know, I had been expecting a um, red, red hot gold BA card, um, where in fact um, that little bit of plastic has, has withered away. <laughs> and, you know, and, and that's not such a bad thing. Um, one of the things that I think is is true of um, you know particularly now in this pandemic because you know today today another vaccine um, was announced and so shortly there'll be five um, available and we can sort of see the end um, of well at least this phase of the pandemic um, coming and and it I really think that there's a lot that we can learn from what we've had to do. So we've we've all adapted to this world that we're out on tonight um, in uh, Teams or Zoom or whatever your preferred um, vehicle is. And, and we very much started off with what can we do to replace what we were doing in real life using this computer technology and with an expectation that it wouldn't be quite as good, but, you know, needs must and um, let's crack on with it. Whereas I think now we're really much more in the place where we should be thinking, what have we learned over this last year? What do we wish to continue doing differently? And what things will we perhaps never go back to doing quite in the way that we we did before? And I do know that, you know, as I hand over to, to Helen in a moment, that she's been thinking about that a lot for um, the society. And of course, um, the one of the things that you get asked when you become uh, president is, you know, what kind of things do you want to have as your themes? What do you know, what do you want to focus on during your time as president? And again, not surprisingly, having been professor of sustainable chem chemistry for um, over 15 years at Imperial Col College, sustainability is important to me. And so I want to really focus in the next couple of years on sustainability, sustainable chemistry, the sustainability of the society. It happens also to be coinciding with um, some really important events. So COP26 um, later this year that we will be taking a very active part in. And, and so it's, it's very much seems to me to be the right moment. And, and only 
um, a couple of days ago, I was sitting with the team and Helen, um, and we were laying out the plans for the RSC strategy in this area, which will be starting to um, come to everybody's attention over um, the next few months. So with that, I'll hand over to Helen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tom. And yes, thank you so much for inviting myself and Tom to join you this evening. Um, Tom and I have this year, or last year actually now, we completed nine regional meetings around the UK. Um, and what I think both of us have realised is that continuing to meet with members has been so important for us. And uh, actually seeing you today is, just reminds me of how important members are to the whole of the RSC. And we certainly couldn't do all the work that we do without you. Um, but in doing our regional meetings around the UK, the one thing that became very apparent is when we were visiting the nine regions, we really had to imagine ourselves being in that location to get a sense of what we would have been doing if in, in different circumstances, if we'd been getting on a train or in the car to visit. Um, so actually the opportunity to meet with the Belgian section I think is really important because we may not otherwise have uh, come to your AGM. The fact that we can log on you know, for half an hour and talk with you and, and see you all is fantastic. And as Tom mentions, the one thing that we are really thinking differently about um, during COVID and our experiences of how we connect with members and our whole community in a more virtual environment, which actually can be far more inclusive because we can see more people more frequently and have more conversations. And I think in doing that, seeing the uh, Waterloo and uh, Brewery, um, I think in doing that, we can we can hear more from you and to understand what we can do to really make a difference and to keep the RSC relevant. And uh, that's another piece that Tom and I have been very much leading on and thinking to the future, building on our learning from the last uh, uh, year or so, and actually retaining that real vision and ambition for what the RSC is, what we stand for, and the difference that we can make in the world. And that's important. So I guess just finishing and, and touching on the fact that of course you know this year has felt very much as if we haven't left the seats that we sit in in front of our laptops all day every day um we both tom and i are obviously based in the uk but we want to make sure that the rsc retains those very strong lin links internationally so i'm delighted to see i think susan on the call who i last uh, saw when i was in beijing i have to say i very much miss my international travel i miss uh, meeting members kind of around the globe. Um, but actually, just to reassure you, our, the RSC will absolutely, despite the fact, as Tom says, that uh, we seem to have uh, moved further away from in political sense, but our absolute heart remains in Europe. And the work that we do with UCEMS, the work we do with our UPAC will absolutely continue. And just to kind of emphasize that, many of you will know uh, Robert Parker, who's recently stepped down as the RSC CEO, hence my current interim role. But Robert has taken up the post of Ambassador to Europe and the Commonwealth um, to help the RSC really continue those links, continue those really important relationships and make sure that our members really do have a voice, both within the RSC century, but also that we can support you to have a voice wherever you happen to be. So again, it's great to join you. I'm really glad that Tim took the opportunity to invite myself and Tom and you know as, as you've all said I really hope in 12 months time or whenever that um, is we can travel to you or you can travel to um, to see us and I think the thing that Tom and I are most looking forward to is being back in Burlington House we really do miss uh, that part of uh, our roles so but yeah but it's it's thank you so much for inviting us thank you very much Helen um, and thank so you very I just much, Tom. And say, following, following Helen's statement, I yes, really would, like, would quite like at one point to actually be able to touch the President's Medal, which uh, I've never done. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Um, yes, no, we, 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 are, we are very, very glad that you were able to join us this evening. And we also look forward to welcoming both of you as we have done in the past to both ceos and presidents we have a long history of of receiving our presidents and, and uh, chief executive officers here in in, in the belgian uh, uh, capital and we look forward to seeing you both of you here and, and showing you a little bit of good old-fashioned belgian hospitality which we are quite proud of <laughs> i'm 
glad to say. Right, so we, with that, if you don't mind, we will move on to the business. And as I've said, we usually have um, the, the, um, uh, the tradition of, of moving this along fairly briskly. However, it will give you an opportunity to hear both from the Secretary and Treasurer what we've been doing over the last year, despite the limitations. And uh, you will have seen also um, some of the uh, things that we're projecting doing um, uh, as well. So let me uh, first of all start off by asking, do we have apologies for absence and the, uh, the list of proxies received, Tim, please? Um, yeah. Well, we have uh, the, the proxies received, and, well, the effectively apologies for absent are from Prof. Arthur, uh, Professor mm -hmm. Arthur Van Ayrshot, Brian Sutcliffe, Christopher Kariuki, Evelyn Volker, Germano Canini, James Franklin, Joshua Holloway, Richard Green, uh, Prof. Stephen DeFetter, Thomas Rankin, and uh, William Darnley, and also potentially Mary Beatrice Madek, yep. as she's uh, ticked, the, ticked the proxy box as well, as well as... Right. okay. But apart from that, no other apologies. No other apologies, okay. <clears throat> then we move to the uh, minutes of the 2020 AGM, which was held on the 17th of January. Um, and this will make Tom laugh, I'm, hope, I'm sure, at Les Amis Dean, uh, which is the name of the restaurant where the annual dinner would follow the AGM. <laughs> um, do we have a, would somebody like to move the approval of those uh, minutes? Can't be Tim or I. No. <laughs> David? Yeah. Yes? Okay, I'll approve the minutes. Thank you very much. Would someone like to second that, please? Yeah. They looked okay, yes. I okay, Boo, thank you very much. Boo Dalquist. Yeah, thank you. So that's, uh, that, that, that's then approved. We then move on to the committee report on the 2020 activities of the Belgian Sakes of the Royal Society of Chemistry. And I would ask Tim Reynolds, the secretary, to give us the committee report. Tim, please. Okay, I'm going to share the share my screen, hopefully, um, which is actually um, essentially a, 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 a looking at our, our blog, in actual fact. Um, so, and I'll rattle through the report and... Uh, uh, use the blog to sort of uh, illustrate, hopefully. Um, as with most aspects of our lives, the COVID crisis in 2020 had a major impact on our uh, program of activities. Yet, despite the challenges raised by the various lockdowns, travel bans, and social distancing restrictions, we managed to organise three public lectures one physical and two virtual. We held the AGM, uh, had a fundraising social, and our two annual school outreach events, the Chemical, Chemical Chemistry Challenge and Top of the Bench European Eliminator, were successfully undertaken. We also welcomed our seventh Norman Lloyd Scholar at uh, Cardiff University. We opened up with our 2020 AGM and an annual dinner on the 17th, as we've already uh, described, and our first uh, lecture event of the year was on the 11th of February with Prof Joris Proust from the University Catholic de Louvain, uh, who talked to us about um, towards the hydrogen economy, challenges and pitfalls. Um, our next planned event would have been with uh, James Durant from uh, Imperial College on the 31st, uh, talking about solar-driven synthesis of sustainable fuels. Um, but the lockdown arrived just at the worst possible time. So we're actually rearranging this to be uh, to happening as a virtual event um, next week, next month. So despite the lockdown, we managed to organise our, um, our chemistry challenge event during the, uh, the late spring, early summer, um, with, which he will runs with senior high school uh, students in their sort of penultimate year in high school. Um, the overall winner was actually quite an exceptional uh, chemist, but um, we won't go too much details into that. Um, it was the actual prize giving event for the uh, chemistry change was uh, held in conjunction with um, uh, a virtual lecture from our old friend and ex uchems president, um, David Carl Hamilton, um, who talked about elements in danger and um, the new UCHEMS um, periodic table. We also, in September, um, held a fundraising event 
in the open air. We, we're sort of in, the, in that sort of um, period between lockdowns, let's say. Um, and so despite COVID restrictions, we were able to hold a, an appropriately socially distanced fundraising event for our Norman Lloyd scholarships at um, Julie Tupney's abode. And we raised about 170 euros for the fund. Later in the year, we actually uh, welcomed our seventh Norman Lloyd uh, scholar, um, who is Cara Watkins. She's just starting her first year, well, she has started her first year at um, Cardiff University. And the Norman Lloyd Scholarship is, as we say, we've now done it seven years in a row, and we, it's, uh, it gives a £1,000 to a, um, a uh, first year chemistry degree uh Uh, student at uh, Cardiff University uh, who is selected by the university is coming from a, a perhaps a, 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 more, a relatively disadvantaged black background. Um, after the uh, our second virtual event of the year was with Dr. Bridget Van Tiglen, uh, who talked to us about women in science. She's recently um, done a book on women called Women in Their Element, um, which talks about the various uh, major contributions to chemical science, in fact, science in gen general, uh, by, by women over the years. Um, our final event of the year, again, um, held in a virtual manner, was a top of the bench eliminator. Uh, thanks to the uh, usual very hard work of um, Rita Woodward, we, she put together two, a two-part test that could be um, uh, held at the schools, um, uh, which was one was a, a multiple choice written test, another was an actual uh, practical uh, test. We always try to run um, a written test and a practical test to sort of mimic the actual top of the bench um, format uh, in the final. And As for last year, our um, winners were St George's International School in Luxembourg. Their team, Sulphur, uh, which is a 50-50 split, male-female, uh, will be hopefully representing us in, um, in London. In, well, not in London, obviously not, but in March. Virtually. Um, in, uh, virtually. It would be really nice if it was in London, but... It, was, it won't be. Um, so going forward in uh, 2021, uh, we're looking to organise a, a full programme of events for 2021 uh, that will either be virtual or physical, depending on how the situation evolves. Mm. Uh, our first two events um, coming up in February and March. Uh, as I said, on February 11th, we have uh, James Durant, who will be talking to us about uh, solar fuels. And on the 18th of March, we have Professor Anime Bogarts from the Antwerp University, who will be talking about plasma chemistry for carbon dioxide conversion. We look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you very much, Tim. Um, I think that's a very clear account of what we got up to. And um, we're very grateful to the Secretary for all of the hard work that he does in keeping things in, uh, on, on the road. Can we ask, um, are there any questions concerning the, um, the committee report? If not, we would take that as an approval. And we then move to the financial report. Can I ask Julie Tappany, please, to give us the financial report for 2020? Julie? Yes, I will. Okay. I'm going to read this and then I will send you all a copy because right. I'm, um, because I, um, just to explain, I do lots of teaching um, online in Teams. And so therefore, I have to do this meeting on my iPad because my, my actual computer is blocked with all my school teams that I teach. So here we go. So I can't do exotic stuff that I do with them. I share screens, I have cameras, I have everything. So um, I am just going to read the report. So like previous years, 2020 was planned to be another busy year until restrictions due to COVID-19 pandemic saw cancellations and lectures moved online for the Royal Society of Chemistry Belgian section and its committee. The main highlights of the year were our two online uh, lectures on Bridget Van Tiglen and David Cole Hamilton, and the live lecture, which was the first of the year, 
from Joris Proust. Our two annual competitions for schools, the Chemistry Challenge competition was well attended and we had 25 winners from um, all the English speaking schools. Um, I count the schools. Six or seven different, or maybe eight, I'm just briefly doing eight schools took part. So it was wonderful to be able to, um, um, and they did um, an online um, chemistry challenge with the normal section A being chemistry, multiple choice, section B being longer questions, and section C being um, um, uh, um, more, oh yeah, I've lost the word. Um, 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 General knowledge. No, no, no. Um, um, oh, Rita, help me out. L lateral thinking. Lateral thinking. Thank you. That's what it was. Completely, my lateral thinking was not working. I apologise profusely. Right. So that was wonderful. That and actually, I have to say, I have to give Rita all credit for running top of the bench and for sending various schools chemicals for them to do the experiments. So I think that's very um, impressive. So though our two schools outreach went ahead this year. So on the 1st of January 2019, the next um, 20, sorry, the net asset, assets of the Royal Society of Belgium section were 5,929.46 cents. Uh, the annual grant for 2020 received in June from the RSC UK was 6,589 euros. Um, and this was put to use. The major items of expenditure this year was the 865 euros needed to organize the chemistry challenge, of which 675 euros was used in prize money because we had more prize winners this year than normal. Um, for the year, Ending the 31st December 2020, the net assets of the Royal Society of Chemistry Belgian section amount to 10,709.91 cents. Um, and so, on behalf of myself, I hereby give the accounts. And um, yes, and a uh, a grant will be asked for, for the Royal Society of Chemistry to enable us to carry on with our extended programme next, this year. All things hopeful that will be in person. Thank you very much, Julie. Um, are there any questions concerning the financial report? A little bit tricky if you haven't got the figures or haven't been able to note them down quickly. Um, can I take it that if there are no, no, no remarks, we can approve the financial report and then turn to item six, which is the chairman's remark, and these will be extremely brief. I simply would like to take this opportunity of saying that in a year which has been very difficult, very trying for all of us, um, it's been very satisfying that we've been able to organize a number of events, both real and virtual. Um, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the members of the committee, Tim and Julie, the Secretary and Treasurer, Fabio, who's helped us a lot with these um, uh, team presentations, Rita, who's been um, uh, very busy keeping the chemistry challenge on the top of the bench going, and the other members of the committee, Bo Deltwist and David Terrell. And we look forward to um, continuing the work together, together with a with with we hope an additional member of the committee whom we will welcome in a few minutes. To all of our members, I take this opportunity also to say that I hope that you are managing well in these difficult circumstances. Lockdowns are not a great deal of fun. Um, uh, they do give you a lot of time to spend if you're fortunate enough to have a garden. Um, to get on top of the garden more than one has ever done before. But uh, there are other things to life than gardens. So we look forward to a much more um, uh, active year in terms of physical contact with our members, but we do also ensure 
that we will carry on with our program in a virtual way for as long as it's required. Now, can I move to the next item on the agenda, which is the, um, the election of committee members. The following nominations have been received for the committee. The, the chair of the section, um, myself, section, section treasurer, the existing treasurer, Julie, and section secretary, Tim, the existing secretary. We are the three uh, appoint three three nominations for the committee: Fabio Lucaccioni, Susan Champs, and Rita Woodward. Are there any further nominations, um, Tim? Uh, none have really been received. Okay. Do I take it that we can approve the appointment of these um, members and section officers? Yes. In absence yes. of. It? Complaints. Yes. 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 Okay. So, um, that's you too. Proposed and uh, so on. That's fine. Um, the only thing that's left on the agenda now is the auditing. Oh, but if you've I mentioned, you've mentioned that certain not committee not members not are not going to be in um, still in post. Sorry. David. Oh, other, commi other committee members are in still in post. Yes, other year. committee members. Sorry, I should, I should have. I, my, you're right to re remind me. My, I slipped over a page here. <laughs> um, other committee members are still in post. David Terrell is midway through his current term, and um, uh, Boo Dalquist, um, who has been co-opted, who's not a member of the Ross Society of Chemistry, but who's been co-opted, will be co-opted at the first meeting as usual. Um, to continue his, his time on the on the committee. My apologies, David. We appreciate you are one of our longest, together with Rita, our two longest serving members and one of the original um, section officers. Um, the auditing arrangements, Tim, would you just like to say a couple of words um, about this? We, we, we have, uh, in the statutes that were laid down when we were created, we do have um, reference made to auditing of the accounts, Tim. Um, yeah, I, I, this is something we've. I think we realised last year because um, we previously formally audited the accounts, but now uh, with the new arrangement with headquarters, where basically the financial report is a spreadsheet that if it doesn't balance, <laughs> we get to double it. it. <laughs> so um, uh, the fact that actually in the statutes it says that the auditor should be appointed as for, as an ordinary member of the of the of the section rather than actually an auditor as an accountant previously uh, i think the 2020 uh 2019 accounts uh lawrence smallshaw um basically had a just a, a looked at the uh, the accounts and i i, I guess it will be uh, possible again yeah yeah i think that would be the best arrangement unless anybody else wants to volunteer from the ordinary membership to um to yeah. do that it's literally literally um it's a quite. It's a reasonably um, not a great taxing, not a taxing job. Yeah. But, they, they, um, they, the, the way the way things are laid out in the constitution of the of the section, it, it's indicated that it should not be either a section officer or a member of the committee. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, then we can move to the final point. Any other competent or incompetent business? I take it there is none. Then I would like to simply turn once again to our two invited guests and thank them for coming to join us this evening and look forward to seeing all of you, not just virtually, but in, in, in the flesh, in the not too distant future. Thank you all for your participation and have a very good evening and a very pleasant weekend. Thank you. Thank you very much, thank everybody. You. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To see you in a restaurant next year. <laughs> you will <laughs> we'll look forward to it. I promise you. <laughs> Bye then. Uh, thank, thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye, Tim. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Thanks, Bye. Alan. Thanks, everyone. Pleasure. Okay. Susan. Um, I think she just ran away. Yeah, she just left. She just left. Oh well, too bad. Okay. That's okay. Right. Fabio, thank you once again for your help. That worked out fine. David. I am. You're still with us. I am, yes. Good. Well, 
Thank you once again. We haven't Thank fixed you. the date for the next. I think we fixed the date for the next committee minutes, so that doesn't doesn't come up here anyway. Anyway, you're doing well. Yep, fine. Good, good, good. Then so the committee meeting is on the six, on the sixteenth um, of March. I think sixteenth yeah. of March. I think we yeah. fixed that at the last. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Unfortunately, it will still be virtual. I guess. I imagine so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, unless unless something miraculous happens in Belgium, but uh, so how do you see things in London? Do you think you'll manage to get home, or? Well, I'm planning to come back on the twentieth of February, uh -huh. because um, I, I I am hopeful that sometime in March I will be able to have my vaccination. And that's my prospect likelihood. I think that's more likely than not. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, it, it, the, the 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 present situation. Um, I spoke to my GP um beginning of the week and he said uh, certainly he didn't expect it before um so before march yeah. but I, I i have a feeling that um it may, may begin to accelerate a little bit because um we just had very good news uh, from the bbc just before um we came uh, on onto the meeting which is that the janssen yeah. vaccine um has now uh, apparently um, satisfied all of the requirements and should be coming up for approval very soon. Yeah. So that should perhaps help the situation in Belgium because I would imagine that that's one that is being, it's the one that's, that's together with Johnson & Johnson. I don't know what their prospective production is though, I think. <laughs> that I think is the determining feature of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, we just have to wait and see, but I, 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 I'm, I'm hopeful that um, things will start to accelerate fairly soon, because as of March, the, the Moderna vaccine should become available in Europe as well. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. Yeah. So, thank yeah. you very much. Okay, Dave, I'll bid you good evening, everyone. That passed off very well, I thought. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty right. wasn't in the Amadeans, but yes, bye bye. Yeah. Yes, yes. Nice okay, you. thanks again. Not Thank you all. all. Right. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye, David. <coughs> so, Julie, are you going to uh, send through the report? Julie's gone. Switch your microphone on. Julie? <laughs> Yeah. So I'll send through this report, but more importantly, I'll also send through, I finished, um, as ever, there's always something that doesn't balance on that dreaded sheet, however many times you yeah. go through it. Um, so I, I, I finished the sheet. I haven't done the events for next year, but I can do that from, um, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a few things more in, in the events for the my report. Yeah. Now we know. Okay. Uh, yeah, a few things that are now firmed up, right? Yeah. Okay. That, so I'll wait for that before yeah. I apply for the grant. I didn't say with Tim um, and Helen there. Um, my last thing is that even though we've got ten thousand, we <laughs> obviously apply for a grant. It just seemed a bit. Yeah not appropriate so that's what i didn't do that bit yeah okay. that's all right yeah and yeah. then um i mean obviously we will apply do you, yeah. I mean, do, does yours have a, a, a deadline on it yeah mine is the 12th of february all right great okay that's good okay so we've got time because i'm yeah. supposed to set, send the secretarial one in about well about now so uh but right. i will do it we'll wait until the, so I'll, I'll fill it in a bit more and send it to everyone here yeah 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 um but I'll, I'll send it in on Monday morning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the only issue I've got on my accounts is that dreaded thing from eBay. I don't yeah. know what that's about. No, I don't. Well, my, I have no idea either. Yeah. I assume. Uh, I assume somebody has got in. I hope not. Mm. Well, yeah, it's really strange. Yeah, very strange. Well, I, I, I said that, I mean, that thing about um, Rita getting stuff from the um, goodie, the RSC um, shop, so to speak. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, that was, I mean, I think we, I'm sure we have credit there. So it, it, uh, I, mean, I can't imagine what it no, costs. No, that. no, 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 because this was on the 10th. This is, this is um, really weird. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, it looks like it must be some, it's some sort of either error or I don't know. But and did she bought a balance at a certain point for the top of the bench? Did she took it on eBay? I wouldn't have thought so. But would she have access to the account anyway? Yeah. No. Yeah, normally, right. normally Rita um, buys things and then sends me and I reimburse her. Yeah, totally. Okay. Rita. Yeah. yeah. Mm. At all. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't, I'm not. Don't think she 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 bought any balances actually because um. She did buy a balance because I but I paid her back for that. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and she, I don't think I can't remember. I mean, I've got the bill for where she built bought the balance, mm -hmm. but not from that. Oh, yeah, yeah. finish. Okay. Yeah, so I, I think it was safe, but we've got to be, we just yeah. call it bank errors, isn't it? I mean, and then yeah. we'll do it this year. Next. So I just do it bank errors, and and then okay, I'll do. It. I'll yeah. send it you, and you can tell me what to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you all very much. <laughs> yeah. okay. All, right. all right. Okay. Thanks again. Bye. Tim, okay. you need yeah. the, the record of the AGM? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe. Okay, maybe. I will uh, compress a little bit the file and then I'll send you. Okay. And then, as in Mission Impossible, you have to destroy yeah. it. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, yeah, just so you know, Tim, for child safeguarding, you have to record your online lessons. Really? Just so you know. Oh, babe, so we should record everything we do if there's a kid yeah. involved. Is that what you're saying? Actually, I have to. That is a rule that every lesson I teach my students has to be recorded wow. just in case. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, okay. Have, you have a super right. computer with a huge amount of uh, stock data? Or... Okay, thanks again. I'm going to go and have some dinner. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Okay. Bye. Okay.